Now that you've practiced your path for quilting the Lone Star Diamonds, here are some ideas for embellishing them. This Lone Star is quilted in the basket weave path. You can see how the different patches alternate in the direction that they've been executed. In this case, I'm using small little leaves quilted in the same direction as I would if I were basket weaving. So I've got them going horizontal and then vertical, horizontal and then vertical, horizontal, vertical, adding a little, little doodad, in this case maybe a cherry to fill a space I may have left. And when I need to make that extra little move to get out of the block instead of coming out the bottom of the leaf, I'm going to come out the patch through the top of the leaf because it takes me out in another position and puts me in the right place to come along here again through the top. I get to go at the bottoms, but here again I have to go at the top to get in position to do this, in top to get into position to do this one. Other than that, I'm just following my basket weave path. I have another basket weave idea. Also using leaves, this one shows one leaf, but the angle of the way the lobes of the leaf come out are the ones that I'm following in the basket weave. So I've got the lobes that are going this direction, and then the lobes that are going this direction, the lobes going this direction, the lobes going that. Other than that, I'm simply following the basket weave path. And here we're getting away from leaves. This is simple whimsical geometric design, kind of like a long yardstick that's flipped on its side and then flipped on its side and out of the tip of the yardstick a little bite's been taken. So you make this line the parallel, this line parallel to the other seam and then the little bite and you return and this time you do a bite as you're creating alternating ends and it makes the simplest design you could possibly do makes a rather interesting shape. And is that the end of the basket leaves? We'll see here. Yep. And now I've got an orange peel design to share with you. Remember the orange peel? That was the one where we outlined the seams of the patch and made the arch and the returns the arch, the loop, the arch, on the arch, and you returned. This time, as I'm coming up along one of the seam lines, I'm going to fill it with a flower. And sometimes that seam line is going to be the one on the left. Sometimes it's going to be the one on the right. And in this case, it was actually the point at the bottom that the flower emerged from. How I decide where I'm going to make the flower come from is simply which is going to give me, for that particular patch, the best angle to fill the volume of the patch with the design. So, go play.